All right, so this video we are going to focus on uh, particle effects. So we're going to head over to, I'm just going to go to level one. And let's start by just making a particle effect. We're just going to double click and you're going to see the options come up to create different objects. In general, we have particles. Basically, what a particle effect is, is a, an image that is recreated and spread out hundreds of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a drop of water. So I'm going to just pause and draw some water. I lied. I made a few drops of water. So I drew them. I did my crop and I close out. And wow, that's large. So I'm going to just, let's see. We're going to shrink this down. So we're going to make the size, let's make it like 25 by 25. Let's just see what that looks like. That's not working. So let's go back into our particles and we're going to shrink it down. So here, let's, uh, let's actually resize width in pixels. We're going to make it 25 by 25. And I said stretch using that arrow and we make these little tiny droplets. Great. Now, uh, something I want to do here is revolve it. So I want it to be almost like raining on my character. So I take this middle button and I'm changing the cone that it sprays in. Now, I've added this particle and there's properties that are going to be available to it. So if you look here, we have properties, rate, spray cone, type, image. So we already edited the image. Rate is going to be how quickly. Uh, let's, let's play around with this and see what it looks like. So I run my layout. And now here, just the way it is, we've got the rain. Now I'm going to go back to construct. I'm going to set it up right over my head. Let's set the rate to 20. And you see how there's much fewer particles? Now if you want to go nuts, make it 100. Oh. If you go too high with the number that gets created, it's going to bog down your processing. So if I'll just do it, let's, let's do 10,000. This is going to get ugly. Okay. It actually seems to be working out okay. But yeah, you could, you could bog down your computer if you do too many. So I'm going to make the rate 50 again. Spray cone, if I change that to 30, it's going to reduce the angle size. So it's going to be half as big a cone. So now it's a smaller cone. Okay. Then if we go down initial par particle properties, speed, I can make go faster. Size, right now it's 32. Opacity, we're going to change this to 50 because I think it looks better when you have um, slightly transparent water. Okay, so now I've increased the speed. It's shooting, and now I'm going to make the acceleration 150. And check out the effect it is actually increasing in speed, or at least it seems to be doing that. Negative 150. So destroy mode, you can fade to invisible. Speed randomization, it's all there. Play with it to understand what it is. Uh, now, let's make particles that are on command. So what I'm going to do is make my character shoot water, I guess, when I press the space bar. So what I do, make an event, keyboard, on key pressed. And the key I pick is the space bar. Done. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the system create an object. It's going to be the particles on the same layer as my character and it's going to be at my character name x and character name y done and i'm actually going to set the particles to go forward like 
that. So I'm going to move these original particles because I don't want them to be seen by the player. Now that when I press space, the particles shoot. Great. Now how do we have this interact with some... Oh, and now it's still going. I'm not pressing space anymore. So we got to fix that. We go in, event sheet, um, keyboard, on... Okay, I'm going to change this to key is down, space. And let's see what happens now. Nope, still going. So we have to set up something where... Uh, let's see if we can make an, a new event. Let's, or actually... Can, mm, Sub event. The sub event is going to be keyboard on key released. We're going to do the space key. Uh, we are going to destroy the water particles. So I press space. Not stopping. And I look and I realize it's because of the way I set this up. It is not a continuous spray, it is going to be one shot. So that's a property of the water itself. So when I press play, I press space, and it's going to be one shot as my space key is pressed. So now I'm shooting the particles. Who cares? Well, let's make it interact with a fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create... I tried doing it with particles, and I still have to figure that out. But for purposes of time, we're going to make a sprite that's a fire. So I'm going to draw this real quick, and I'll animate it so it looks good. Fire! Okay, so I have a fire. Now, let's make it interact with our character first. So we're going to say when sprite 11 is on collision with me. So when it's colliding with me, we are going to destroy me. Pretty sad prospect. Okay, but now we're going to set it so that the particles actually affect the fire. So to do that, we're going to need an instance variable for the fire itself. So we go to, we click the fire, instance variable, add one. And we're going to call it fire size. Initial value is going to be 20. Okay, so now we have a variable for the size of the fire. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set, I just flubbed. First, I'm going to the system, and I'm going to tell it every tick, every possible moment in time. It's going to change the size of the fire. So we're going to set, type set, and should be, yeah, here we go, set size. And we're going to set this, the width to, let's see, sprite. I'm picking where I left the, um, I left the instance variable. So it's in the sprite, and now I go to fire size, and then I'm going to change the height to sprite 11 point fire size, and I'm, I'm actually going to say times two. So it's going to be taller than the fire size. So if I do that, now it should be, oh, well, it's pretty small. So let's change our initial value. We go to level one. Here we go to our instance variable. Our initial value should be maybe 100. And so now I close it out. I press play. Okay, so we have a fire. Now, what I'm going to do is say uh, every tick. And now. I'm going to have to tell it to reduce the number of the fire size whenever the particles interact with it. So I'm going to say system uh, every tick. Okay, we're going to use sprite 10 is actually not every tick. So we go back, we're going to say sprite 11 
on collision with another object, and now I'm going to pick particles 3. Done. Add action. I'm going to now reduce the number of the particle size. So I go to the sprite where it's located, and I'm going to subtract from fire size, value of 1. Now, this should work when I spray it. There we go. I'm shrinking the fire. And now the fire is negative. So now it's flipped upside down because it's going negative. It shrinks down to 0 and then negative 10, 20, 30 until it's massive. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to add an event. And we're going to say... Well, we're going to say, we're going to add a sub-event. Right-click. Let's add a condition. We're going to say sprite 11, compare instance variable. So we're now looking at an instance variable. If fire size is equal to zero, then the action is going to be to destroy the fire. Let's just see if this works. Nope. We have to do a separate we got to do a separate thing. So we're going to add event sprite 11 compare instance variable. If fire size is equal to 0, then we are going to destroy the fire. There are more clever ways of coding to reduce the number of events that you have. But I'm just trying to teach you how to do this for the first time. So I go like this. And now I have safe, safe passage. Okay. So that's how you create particle effects. That's how you have them interact with objects that you can change their size. And play around with this. You know, you could have maybe like a feeding item where you feed a character and they grow larger. And if they get to a certain size, um, then it unlocks a door where you could have another condition on a door that uh, you need three coins and char the character size variable needs to be like 100. So, yeah, this, is a, this has been this video. This is your bonus activity. Good luck.